All right, so Jen and Bob duo. Do you win the duo category today? I think no, we're I think third. We're third? Pretty solid third. Do you have an eye on the other duos today? At the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah. And then we kind of got in like a giant train where they were at the front and we were towards the back. And then we were going a little hard, so we're like, okay, let's back off. We have four more days of this. Yeah. So we backed off and just, it was painful enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of melted down at the beginning. Couldn't get my heart rate to come down. At least it felt like for an hour. And then I just wrapped it up at and the end with like back cramping. And I'm like, Bob, it's my yeah. turn. I can't go. So between the two of us, we, yeah. you know, we had a little bit of suffering. So, but stay together. Like that's our goal is kind of yeah. just ride together. And I was like, get better at rocks. There's a few of them here. Just a few. Yeah. Tiny bit. Obligatory. Do you want a smooch? Do you want one? <laughs> Camera loves you. Hey, smooch, smooch, woo! Yeah, just a little eye. A little peek through. <laughs> Gordon, Emily. Hey, Duo is at TSE. How was it? So you finished in the rain. Oh my gosh! In the tumultuous downpour. Yeah, in the biblical. What happened? Uh, we we were sitting really well. I actually thought in um, the third wheel of the duos in like a really good group, like a bunch of folks we knew, and I was like, this is gonna be perfect, you know. Um, and then in Sand Mountain, it got just really furry and it had been churned up. Um, and and Emmy took a good digger, just like right lost in the, some. Right in the face. A well, full body, face, like hips, the whole deal. Um, and we just like took a minute to collect from that. Bikes were good to go, but I've only that ridden was. I've been in wet all year, like it being dry is. Yeah, that, that like super shaly pow pow was a mess, man. I'm, I'm fucking up. I'm getting, getting schmisty. Um, but man, after that, we, I don't know, we just kind of rolled. I mean, we just kind of pieced it together. We stayed around, um, some of the lead women, which was really good. There was a little battle going on there and that was kind of cool. Um, I fixed the guy's pedal. <laughs> I gave somebody my two. <coughs> I pulled him the whole time. Whole time. The whole time. <laughs> With a bloody lip, pulling him. Yeah. Nobody makes her bleed her own blood. <laughs> So Rebecca Lewandowski? Yeah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, how'd your race go today? It went, it went well. I didn't know what to expect. First stage race, came out ready to roll. Uh, figured I'd like the end, feeling like I could keep going, and I'm ready, I'm ready for day two. <laughs> great course, great people. Bring it on. Here my Bishop, here at TSE, day one. Looked like it was a big, big group out there today. And it seemed like it came down to the wire, what happened? Well, it, it is probably the most roady stage of the TSE. That having been said, uh, there's a lot of technical sections added back to this uh, course, so really great course. Um, but the early dirt roads had it, um, you know, become a group, a top five group of uh, myself, um, Brian Lewis, and Kerry Warner, uh, John Petrolak, NUE uh, Marathon Series champion. Um, Noah Flaxman was dangling off the back of that group for a while. Um, but we had three Virginia riders in that uh, top group, so we were, we we're doing pretty good. Um, no, but it was a real, real tactical race. Kerry uh, put some moves on the single track and on the downhills, and um, yeah, definitely uh, was shaking it up a little bit. But we come back together, and then we'd all just kind of look at each other, and no one wanted to ride hard. But on the middle climb, we had a um, pretty solid 10-minute climb, and then um, it was wild because. All of a sudden, Brian just came to life and just laid the hammer down. They are doing like 550, 600 watts for a couple minutes up this uh, this climb, and I was like in the chokehold, seriously thinking, I'm getting dropped. Definitely getting dropped. Uh, Carrie was on my wheel. We just managed to hang on to the back um, of Brian, and uh, yeah, man, that, that road horsepower was was being shown and uh but he didn't quite snap away quite enough to get a gap otherwise we would have been screwed uh so we were able to recover on the flat section and then it was neutral again carrie took the pole position for some single track really drove it hard got a little bit of a gap then it came back together then the final twisty technical climb with um not final but you know maybe uh probably five miles out eight six miles out um brian attacked again um and it was technical, so there's no drafting. And uh, yeah, he was just really nailing it. Pulled open a 12 second gap. I'm like, crap, I am on the back foot, just taking my lumps and uh, 
But if I can keep with Carrie, Carrie's Kerry, gonna, you know, Carrie and I can work together and try to track him back. You know, we got half that gap back, but couldn't quite get across to it. And I was like, well, I don't want to bring Carrie across, so I'm gonna just attack, try to jump across to Brian. Jumped across to Brian, and uh, yeah, my legs started to feel a little bit better with it. And um, you know, I was like, well, dang, I got a little cross country pace left here. Um, did GFNY three days ago. A lot of driving, a lot of traveling. Um, somehow won the day on thing, and uh, I thought I was just gonna be a little tight, but uh, yeah, had a little bit of snap left. So um, Brian and I linked up last two miles, just full gas. And I was like, uh, you know, Brian's on my wheel, I don't care. Getting a little time on carry. You know, we came down to this last turn and I just got the sprint by like an inch. So it feels really good. Great to be back here in the land of rocks, East Coast rocks. Um, yeah, so awesome to be back at TSC. Really stoked the race is back on and looking forward to a fun week of racing. Thank you, Phil. All right, so you're here. Are you here enduroing? Because you're actually you're going pretty quick at the front of the race. Anti enduroing. Yeah. Trying to go up fast hill and not not lose it all on the downhill. Is this training for later enduro events? Are you still racing enduro? I race everything. I'm mountain bike racer. So. Um, No, this like this is one of my target events this year. I, I work full time now, so it's. I don't race, so this is uh, one of those things I want to try and do well at. So. How'd you end up today? What happened? Seventh. I got like one flat, but I had to fix it twice. So the first time it it uh, I CO2'd it, I thought it sealed, rode for 20 minutes, and then it air had slowly leaked out, so I had to stop and put a tube in. So I think I had like six minutes of stop time today, which hurt, so I'm in seventh now. My goal is if I can get a podium, I'd be pretty stoked, so. Like two minutes off fifth, I think. So we'll see. Got some work to do, but today was the easy day. Today was soft. I was I got to mile 15 and I was 46 minutes in. I was like, this is the fastest mileage Transylvania State I've ever done. Right, Marley Dixon, second place today, right? Yes. All right, how'd it go out there? What happened? Uh, it was. It was great. I mean, I've never ridden out here before and um, it was super fast. It was really fun. Carla took off from the beginning and uh, another girl, I'm not sure what her name is, but uh, I think it's Britt. And yes. yeah, Britt got a flat and it pretty early on. So I moved into second place and yeah. And then I rode with my teammates, which was awesome. Jen and Anthony Toops. I uh, rode with them for a while and never saw Carla and didn't really see any other girls, but it was really fun. A lot of different riding from what I'm used to, but super fun. Yeah, so I mean, coming from Colorado, which is the place I know you are from, <laughs> um, how does this compare? How is this different? Especially after, you know, we had rain last night. Oh, uh, it's totally different from the riding in Colorado. <laughs> I like my big climbs, my big descents, and this was definitely a lot more flat, smaller descents, um, really rocky, a lot of leaves too, hidden with hidden things underneath them. <laughs> but it was really fun. Yeah. All right, what's, what's your gap? Uh, what's the gap back to third place now? A less than a minute. Oh, okay. So they came in stay on it. hot. <laughs> okay. I turned around so at the finish line, guys. yeah, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> there's like three girls right here. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. All right, see what happens this week. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, so duo leaders. Yeah. Had a girl out there. It seems like there's a lot of fast duos this year. Yeah, I think it's one of the more competitive fields this year. But uh, it was fun. We went out hard. And when I blew it, when I blew it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. I just hid behind him and drafted. <laughs> <laughs> so Have you guys duoed before? We did yeah. the root of this past fall. Yeah. Okay, so what, what's the dynamic like? How does it work? Um, I basically try not to uh, piss her off, and then we get along great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if as long as I keep my mouth shut and ask questions of what she needs, we're good. <laughs> we, we learned in Laredo. Yeah. Yep. How far back was the second duo? Did I think you... only like a minute and a half. So did you see them on course? No, or you never. To... Oh. So. They said, Gordon said they passed them mile seven or eight. Yeah. And then I never saw them. I never saw anybody else after mile eight. Nope. So. All right, so what's the plan going into tomorrow to try to ditch them? Just, just go as hard as you can. This is going to be a hard day. I think it's going to be the hardest day. I heard uh, you got to get to the single track first. 
That's what I heard. So we're gonna go out. I don't know. Ryan's back there. He can tell us all the secrets <laughs> of what's going on tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Come on, the pointers, the cheat cheat codes. What are the cheat codes for tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thanks. Carrie Warrior Jr. At TSE. You third today? Uh, yeah, third today. All right. How did it play out for you? I talked to Jeremiah. It sounded like they maybe gapped you out towards the end and then sprinted out. Yeah. What was, what was your perspective? What yeah. Was uh, it was all pretty mellow. I was setting the pace for the first little bit of the race and then hit the first feed and everything was still fine. Um, nobody was really pulling through or putting in any effort. And then on the climb up to the second feed, I don't know what the name of the road is. Maybe Pine Swamp Road. Uh, Brian sent a pretty pretty hard attack. He didn't really attack, he just kind of rode off and set a really high pace. And uh, yeah, that was hurt, that hurt a lot. <laughs> and uh, But JB and I were able to stay there and then, yeah, we just kind of rode the rest of the race together. I wanted to get in front for the Enduro just because um, I felt like earlier in the stage I could tell that those guys were maybe not quite there. Um, so. Yeah, I went for the Enduro, and I think I got it, which is cool. Um, but yeah, then about five or six miles from the end of the race, Brian sent it up a really uh, techie climb. And then we, he got me off to about maybe 15 seconds, uh, closed it back up before we hit the road or Pine Valley. And then, uh, yeah, those guys, those guys sent it like I just couldn't close the gap. And then JB jumped around me and got to him, and then they finished together. So... Yeah. Right. So I heard you were you were kind of running a burlier bike setup in there. Is that true? Not the normal. No. I usually run a little on the heavier side of things because of my riding style. I, f I don't really go for the XC thing. Uh, if there's like a tire that's like a, a little more lightweight, I usually up the bigger one just because, especially here with all the rocks. And then like I like to go for the enduros and pin the downhills as a pressure point. So. I usually go for a, a bit of a heavier. Yeah, what are you uh, running for tires? Uh, the WTB Ranger in the back, which is 2.4, and it's got, uh, it doesn't measure that big, um, but it's got a bunch of protection, um, sidewall protection, and, and so it's a bit heavier, and then in the front is a Trail Boss 235 that measures the same. Um, so Trail Boss is a bit beefier of tread, um, so. I think it's a good combo, but yeah, I mean, like for the road sections and stuff, it's obviously not ideal. Which today was kind of like a more roady stage. You have you have higher hopes for some of the more techie stages. Yeah, for sure. I'm really looking forward to John Wirt Trail. That's like a five mile or three mile just rock garden. That'll be good. Tussie's Ridge will be good. Uh, so that day, I'm looking forward to. Tomorrow, I think we climb up Stillhouse Hollow, which is a pretty big climb right at the end of the day. So, yeah, I don't know. I might switch a tire tonight. <laughs> For a bit more faster rolling and uh see how that goes all right man thanks thanks is that meat cake yeah. right no, i just don't want to have this my favorite plate hello how'd your bike race go today I, I wasn't in a bike race today apparently so I really wasn't. Like uh, I thought I was, but I wasn't. When I finished, I noticed I wasn't. I got in before the rain. I got the first shower. How come you're so good at writing cards? I what I talk to you. Because I don't have anything to say about what I did. I did the same thing everybody in this room did. What are you going to say later? What are you going to say? You didn't do the same thing as me. You didn't shift gears. I I already wrote about it. You already wrote it? You already posted it? Because, you know, no, the only thing I have access to here is Microsoft Word. <laughs> so I wrote, it's not out there, but I wrote it. I don't have internet down there. How does that work before the internet? You just write a Word document and have people over to read it? I would, no. Uh, print it out and hand it I would scribble notes and I would go home and then I would, and then I would plug in my, my Commodore 64 and, like, write a program or something. Nothing good happened today. Well, I rode my bike in the woods. It was That was good. Otherwise, it was just not not a thing to talk about. I didn't wreck. I didn't... I got made fun of. Uh, nobody got angry at me. I beat a guy with really good hair. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard did you get Nobody passed me. 
seven. I'm not the slowest 